What's up guys, Politics Gaming here, and today we are doing episode 2 of the Republic of Turkey Season 2. Um, basically last time, it was basically kind of an introduction episode about what was going on in Turkey, and um, what my goal in the series is going to be. Um, and we didn't really pass a lot of things, um, and in this episode we are going to pass a lot of things. Um, it does look like that the Russian Navy is close to our, uh, Cyprus, Cyprot coast. I think that's how you say it, Cyprot. Cyprot, Cyprot. Um, so we have a Russian aircraft carrier just off of our coast. So we're going to go ahead and deploy about, um, 11 naval vessels in response. Looks like the Russians are backing away. So hopefully we don't have to really um get involved there we're gonna go ahead and send about a hundred million dollars of emergency aid to uh australia hopefully that will uh increase um diplomatic and uh economic relations with Um, let's check our economic, because I think we do want to uh, try to get a few trade tr trade packs with uh, um, Australia, possibly India, and the United States. I know we can sell some, some stuff to the United States. Um, so what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and um, we're going to pass one law that will sort of distract people from what we're really doing. We're going to increase the minimum age minimum wage to uh six hundred and forty dollars i think this is monthly um yeah yeah <laughs> this is monthly actually um so we are going to go ahead and pass a law that will increase the minimum minimum wage possibly i think we're going to go ahead and get more uh bipartisan support um our left leaning parties are supportive of it 94 95 percent 93 percent but against is the akp is against it by 54 percent so we're going to go ahead and talk with them real quick, and then at the same time, um, we are going to pass, okay, we have that that law, what we're going to go, go ahead and do, we are going to go ahead and clamp down on freedoms of the press, we're going to go ahead and see how that will work out, we need, okay, what we're going to do right here, we're going to go ahead and for one, we're going to have a TV address. Okay. We're going to talk to our uh, party minister about that. Let's go ahead and meet with the Republican People's Party. I think uh, the meeting, a meeting with the Republican... Actually, let's go ahead and meet with the People's Democratic Party as well. Um, and at the same time, we are going to increase, okay, we're going to go ahead and do a residual bill that we are going, that people are going to like, actually. Um, maybe declare a tax, tax amnesty. Um, okay, let's do it for small offenses. That's going to cost us about $40 million. Okay, that's a decree, so we really don't need to get it passed um, through Parliament. Which Parliament, we are going to clamp down on their rights as well. Um, hopefully we can get um, some support on that. We need to get at least, like, we need to, actually, we're going to go ahead and come over here. We're going to go over to human, um, actually not, we're going to go over to energy and environment. We're going to go ahead and increase funding for that. I know that's going to get approval. Um, fishermen are worried in Cyprus. Okay, offer. Okay. Nice. Then let's meet with you. Get your support on some of these bills ask them to consult you okay 
sorry. No problem, and no problem I intended to do, so that's good. So that is one, our first major piece of legislation that we are going to be able to pass. Um, we seem to be losing approval, so we are going to go ahead and invest in more Turkish culture. Um, law abolishing national service. Let's go ahead and gain more support for this bill. And then let's go ahead and check this bill to see how much it is going to pass by. Um, 63.1%. We have nearly um, full support. We have 61% support from the Justice and Development Party, um, which is our main party that we have in Parliament, and um, that is going to be good. When is a vote? Vote is going to be held on 125, so let's go ahead and skip over to 125. Nationalization has been passed. Actually, I want to see what we nationalized. Ooh, that was actually... Uh-oh, we have a riot. Of course, it's a freaking soccer game. Let's go ahead and pause this. I want to check that log real quick before we forget about it. Um... Abolish national labor, nationalization. I think that was uh, one of our energy sectors. Uh, taxation. Let's go to revenue. Sectors nationalized profit that we are getting off of it, which is $248 million. So that was probably, I don't know. We're going to have to look um, at our sectors soon. Okay, we're going to go ahead and get rid of all of these notifications. Funds, we're way far away from the election. Um, we're not going to mess with the Russian fleet yet. Um, okay, let's go ahead and go ahead and go ahead to this uh, riot that is going on. We are going to move our police into an area that we can allocate all of our police resources. Um, and then move these guys over here, move you over here. Move you, and make them go over here. Lack of spaces in the secondary school system looks like we might have to reform education um, for the greater good of Turkey. Okay, let's go ahead and get these guys. Oh, yay. Uh, let's go ahead and check our debt. Debt deficit. Um, is that about $4 billion? Um, looks like that one surplus that we nearly had disappeared. Um, I think there are going to be a few infrastructure projects that we are going to invest in to develop um, some places in Turkey, um, possibly in the these rural rural areas, um, like the eastern Anatolian region, um, the southeastern Anatolian region, and maybe the uh, Black Sea region, as well as the central Anatolian region where uh, Ankara sits. The Aegean Sea, Aegean Sea region, um, infrastructure-wise, I think, actually, no, the Aegean Sea is uh, less developed than I thought. Let's go ahead and look at the this one. Uh, this is the most developed uh, area in the country, actually, where we are. So we have a lot of money that we can actually invest into infrastructure in these uh, ignored regions. Let's go ahead and check the Eastern Anatolian region. Yeah. We have a lot of money that we can invest in these areas. Um, so let's go ahead and continue to skip to the 25th 5th of uh, January. Um, we do not have any mass protests. We do not have any uh, riots going on right now. 
because of our suppression of freedoms in Turkey. Um, there is our minimum salary that we have um, that may have hurt unemployment. Let's go ahead and check unemployment real quick. Unemployment is at about 10.2%. Um, I think we need to work on a bill or invest more money into unemployment insurance to assure that people are getting jobs or we can just uh, continue um, put a mass actually um, what I usually do I actually might do this I might uh, do some a stimulus program into uh, subsidizing uh, certain sectors okay we seem to have passed the freedom of expression law <clears throat> So we lost a ton of uh, approval over that. Happiness increases in Turkey, of course. Of course. Go ahead and check our human rights record. From the start of the game, we have not done that well. Um, it looks like that we are going to be going down due to our suppression of human rights. Um, we had no opposition from... No major opposition from the party. Um, I think something else we might want to do. Determine the powers of parliament. I think I want to take a poll on uh, reducing it. That. Either that or go straight down to vote laws, but no motions of no confidence. No confidence means like it's like uh, I think I believe I do believe that it's actually uh, laws that can affect the president or the leader. Um, maybe we are going to ask that we use referendums. Because my popularity, if I get po more popularity, I could. Uh, um, get more support. So we're going to go ahead and meet with our party and um, ensure that this uh, law passes. We do have a small margin that this thing might not pass. We have 51%. I'm sorry, but we still agree. Shut up. Um... Man. Okay, the media we have under control. Where are we? Oh yeah, it was over here, head of state. No, that was in parliament. It was in parliament. Okay, let's meet with People's Republican Party. Get more support from them. If we can get some more support from them, then we can um, try and push this through. So let's meet with the CHP. Tell her she is charming. Milton's can be proud. No problem, I intend to do so. Good job. Let's go ahead and check. 55%. We have near full support. We have 80% support from the CHP, the Republican People's Party. So we are going to, if we keep this up and we keep our popularity where it is right now, we are going to pass this with about a 55% vote margin. Um, the vote is going to be held on February 21st, so I think we are going to pass a few more laws um, in these next few weeks, possibly, hey, maybe um, I can build a train from, um, from like, here all the way through Georgia to Azerbaijan, oh, maybe into Bulgaria. Uh, okay, we, our uh, conscripts ended up joining the military, so our military is now 510,000 strong. Um, that's excellent, honestly. Um, our budget for the military did end up going down a little, um, but it did work out. We now have 510,000 military personnel. We're going to increase this to 5,000, 520,000 
Um, that'll be at about a near a near cost of about a hundred million dollars. Um, and yes, uh, is there any equipment that we need? No, no, no. We have eh, we don't have a lot of drones. I don't think the black market would let us get any, would they? Actually, they would. Let's go ahead and purchase about sixty. Uh, rank two drones. That'll be a cost of about five hundred million dollars, um, about eight point three million dollars per unit. So we're going to go ahead and purchase these drones. These drones will be delivered on August tenth, two thousand seventeen. Cost of it with interest will be about five hundred and eighty million dollars over the next three years. Um. I actually want to check this. Let's go ahead and go to economy. Let's go to sales contracts. Let's go to oil. How much oil do we produce? We barely produce any oil. How about natural gas? Natural gas. We don't produce any natural gas. Um, I think we need to start developing our oil and natural gas resources, possibly subsidizing um, we are actually going to go, we are close to finishing these projects over here. We have a lot of projects going on um, to develop our oil and natural gas industry. So we are going to go ahead and skip about 15 days. Um, this will actually get us to approving that law that we were just looking at. And we will also be de uh, close to developing these uh, oil wells and gas wells as well. We are going to... Um, as soon as we do that, I think um, we are going to continue to check and see how much, how many more we can actually develop. No, we're not going to send any units. We already have a unit down there. Um, let's go ahead and place it 13 miles down there near the Syrian uh, territorial waters. Um, looks like Kobani is under Kurdish control, actually. Um, Kurdy, the Syrian Kurdish resistance. Um, let's go ahead and check our terrorism people. Um, we have the, uh, Kurdistan Workers Party, the PKK. Um, this is actually, I actually did, uh, uh do this. I actually, uh, edited it, the, uh, Kurdistan Workers Party. Um, I also named the, uh, Jihadist Caliphate. I named that, um, uh, the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, which ironically, the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, or ISIS, actually perpetrated an attack on our own soil. All right, we're going to go ahead, come over here, Islamic Islamic State or ISIS. We are going to go ahead and um, infiltrate. We're going to put more money into the fight against terrorism. Um, let's go on how many people died. Five people are dead. Damage estimate is about three million. We're going to go ahead and get five million. Um, and then we are going to actually, these, uh, oil wells are done. We are producing more oil. We have 82 tow, um, coming from 82,000 tow coming from that area. Um, we did actually suck this area dry. Um, it looks like. So let's go over here, 8 million so and 11 million so. I think we can go ahead and put one more gas well down here because it seems that we can dig up a little more gas. Um, as for oil, um, I think we did kind of do this area a little too much. We should have just put three because this one is only sucking up about 82,000. Um, I don't know if that changes, actually. Let's go to the next day. 82,000. Yeah, it doesn't change. Um, let's go over to energy. Let's go ahead and put one more um, oil oil well. Or actually, no, not uh, oil well. We're going to put gas well um, in this area. And we, um, I think that's going to be about it for our oil and gas industry um, in this area in western Turkey. Or eastern Turkey, I'm sorry. Um, and that's going to take about another 40 days. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue to play this. 
and serious salutations from the Secret Service. Um, thank you for helping me out. Um, I think we are going to go ahead and study um, these next pieces of legislation that we can go ahead and pass to uh, high density in the labs. Yeah, we actually... Uh, actually, let's go ahead and invest some money. I think this is going to go ahead and affect growth as well. So we're going to go ahead and come over here. We're going to build... How much will this cost? No, we're going to go ahead and build 10 research facilities. Actually, let's go ahead and put that at about 15. That's going to be about $2 billion annually and $8.1 billion uh, over the next five years. Um, that will put about 11,000 people to work, and that will be finished in about... Um, actually, let's put that at about 10 and then increase this to about 1,000 a building. So that will be about... Um, 10,000 workers that will be in, about $1.7 billion, and then $7.1 billion um, in, uh, over the next five years. So that'll be about um, um 20,000 people that will go to work um, in these facilities. So we're going to go ahead and confirm that. We are building about 18 facilities. Actually, we're going to go ahead and build another two, and then we're going to put that at about 12. Mm, we're going to go ahead and put that in the Mediterranean region. That'll be about $463 million, and at $1.8 billion over the next five years. So that's a little bit of a loan. I think we're going to go ahead and check what our next uh, debt will be. Um, our next debt will be on 4-1. I think if we can try to pay this off or stop and don't do any more projects, we're going to not, we're not going to, uh, uh, incur another $7 billion of debt, which our total debt right now and total public debt, not very under finance. Oh, wait, budget. Yes, so we're in budgets. We have $264 billion in uh, total public debt. Um, Highest one is the United States, which is 13.8. Actually, in real life, um, the total U.S. public debt is about $19.89 trillion. Um, <clears throat> which I would never... I, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep our debt ceiling for Turkey at about $500 billion. Um, if we start nearing $500 billion... Um, actually, I'm going to take some emergency action if it goes over uh, about $350 billion, but $500 billion is going to be the Turkish uh, debt ceiling that I'm going to put in. So we are not going to go over $500 billion in public debt, and we are going to make sure that our, pub that our budget deficit is uh, kept in line, which actually our budget deficit is not even that big now. Um, I think expenditures has gone down. No, actually, our expenditures has kind of kept around 180 180 billion dollars and our revenue i think that was a, about probably 170 160 whenever we started this so our revenue is actually going up i think that is about um just because of those uh some of those tax incomes that we are passing um and possibly more nationalization and uh tax revenue that we are pulling in um that sector's nationalized is actually going up actually let's go ahead and look at these areas right here before we go back um, and we go on to episode three and I go ahead and end this off. Um, building housing and roadway construction, we have 1% of the world production. It is going up. It was 1.005 in 2016. Now it's 1.008. We have a custom duty on this. Um, custom duty, if you do not know what that is, that is a trade um basically it kind of taxes um, imports and exports. Um, so if I'm importing uh, cement and Russia or the United States has a custom duty on cement, then Turkey would have to pay um, an additional fee to export or to export it to the United States. Um, so 
Um, there are, I, I actually, um, I was doing tests on this on Mexico. Um, if you do not know this, the custom duty limit total on every single sector. I don't know if it's in like an industry and then it's different. I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to do more testing on that. But, um, I last, uh, yesterday I was playing as a Mexico and I, um, did a custom duty on wood and the uh limit that i could put i tried to put a 20 percent custom duty on on a wood and basically um whenever i put a 20 percent the united states said like they're doing unfair trade practices so i had to reduce it and i put it to about eight percent um and the united states didn't complain and they lifted uh, the wto lifted sanctions so um, that is actually an interesting fact, and uh, but I do think custom duties are um, uh, interesting, and custom duties can help. Um, yeah, it is a tax paid on imported merchandise as it crosses the border. Some free trade organizations condemn it. Um, so it is, in, so it does help your uh, domestic industry. I think it kind of hurts um, stuff that you're importing if you are like if you put. A custom duty like on oil if i put a custom duty oil custom duty on oil then um go over to oil um i think actually that's what i nationalized if you put a custom duty on oil and you import it a lot it's real. i think it's really going to hurt your economy because um you're taxing it and you're not going to get as much of it because no one's going to really be exporting it to you and i actually think it does increase the uh price um, on this, I'm I, I'm I'm gonna have to do more testing on this. I actually might do a video on it. Um, but anyway, it does look like that we have passed major pieces of legislation. Next time, we are going to pass even more pieces of legislation that will um, uh, strengthen uh, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Erdo Erdogan. I think it's I think someone told me it's Erdogan. Um, Erdogan. I'm gonna go ahead and say Erdogan. You guys can correct me in the comments below. Um, but if you like this, go ahead and like and subscribe. And um, next time we will pass even more uh, major pieces of legislation that will strengthen power in Turkey for the for President Erdogan. And um, uh, we are going to refuse this, by the way. And um, we, I will see you guys uh, in episode three of the Republic of Turkey.